Hi, I'm Natasha Lockhart. Welcome to Studio Chatter. Royalty is among us. We'll meet the new Miss Spanish Fork. I'm Stacy Beck. We'll chat with a couple that are from Ukraine, but are now starting over here in Utah. And I'm Angie Murphy. If you like to throw pots or would like to start, we'll talk about that. And we'll talk about what it means to be Bryson Strong. All this and more on Studio Chatter. Welcome to Studio Chatter. Have you gone shopping for <laughs> eggs recently? Well, yes, I have. And? They're a lot of money. Yes. When I first read that, I was like, Easter? <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, what? I was trying to connect the dots. But really, guys? Yeah. Every, everything. Meat, everything. Yeah, there's a lot yeah, of things. Everything. Mm -hmm. So it is. I just did a Costco order at work, mm -hmm. and I just can't even believe, like, six months ago compared to uh -huh. now, like, everything I feel mm -hmm. like is. 20% more at least. Oh, at least. I think yeah. in Utah they're saying 30%. Yeah, I would say so. Oh. And the kids are home for Which summer. Which so, they're going right. to eat more. And literally, yes, there were 18 bags of little snack-sized chips, like literally Monday. Oh and my, they're gone. Where are they? And then the friends come oh. over. Oh, and then the friends come yes. over. I know. You have to start to limit. You're like, okay, everyone right. can have one snack, and you don't want to be like that mean mom. Right, I know. You're like, here's some saltines, and here's a <laughs> but we're on a budget, Kool -Aid. guys. Inflation. This is this when you start whipping up homemade chocolate chip cookies? You do? Rice Krispies. No, this is when you do. <laughs> I don't. I don't. We don't have to. I have no people. Nope. Mm. You can borrow my people anytime. Okay. No. I mean, no, it's it's totally fun. So now you're yeah. into summer. Do you have any summer plans? Um, not yet. Okay. Ish. So <laughs> we're we're trying to catch our breath from end of year. So we just finished end of year recitals. So we just finished dance okay. recitals and um, slowly. You will be going summer. to Miss Utah, which is the second yes, week in June. Yes, yes. So you'll be up there all week. Mm -hmm. And Almost we're going okay. one night as well, and yes. I'm excited about that. I will be up there one night yep. as, as well. Should I dress up like really dressing Natasha? What uh, do you do? Well, you're asking I, Natasha. I, that's one of my favorite. Do you have your fancy shoes? This is why okay. I brought it up. Yeah, I knew I love to dress up that week. I mean, I'm one of those people that still like to dress up for the theater, though. Yeah. But I don't know that everybody does anymore. So right. I would say business casual. Okay. However. Um, Miss America is visiting on Saturday. Oh, so wow. That will be fun. That would be a good Where is she from? To, um, Alaska. Oh, my gosh. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's yep. really neat. So that's she'll, cool. she'll be there for a tea, and she'll be there for the week, and well, she might have helping? some photo opportunities. Oh, my goodness. It'll be fun to have our new Miss Spanish Fork here yes. I know, in a guys. couple minutes and get to know her a little yes, bit better. So just exciting. like that, the switch over, and yeah. then they just start going. Yep. I had to miss that night. We had multiple things, so I'm excited to meet her. It was you a great her. show. Was you can it? watch it on SF here. 17. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. But it was really good. So it I was, was good. I, I, good. I was thinking of you recently because I know that you love to go to the movie theater. Oh, yes. Are we going to top uh, top, top gun? gun? Yes. Oh my <laughs> word. We loved it. Oh my who yes. didn't, right? right? Like everyone. And it's not just mm -hmm. you to see someone, they're like, yeah, it was okay. Everyone just loved it. You Guys, just want to sit there and watch it again. So many things. Let's totally. Right. What did and you don't love you about it? Well, I feel like that it paid good homage to the previous yes. one. Mm -hmm. They reinvented a little bit, but not totally. So they kept with those storylines yeah. we loved yes. and actors. And, and I just thought that part of it was really amazing. I'm like, how are they going to pull the mm -hmm. future and the past and bring it together? Perfectly they did good. Yeah. Okay. I was Tom also never ages either. Yeah, he looked he looked, he looked good. really good. But so did he the did. whole new cast, <laughs> right? right? Yes. Yeah, yes. Rooster. I, was it PG thirteen even? I didn't even look it at it. It could the have rating. been PG or G. You guys, it was a great movie and clean. Mm -hmm. Right. And that you could mm -hmm. take your kids to and feel good about it. Right. I would love Hollywood to look at this because I heard I haven't backed this up, so it could be false news. Okay. That it's the biggest weekend, biggest engrossing movie. I have ever. heard that, yes. Okay. So I wouldn't maybe, believe it. Maybe Hollywood could look at that and and, and say, take note and say, hey, people really do and will come out for this type of movie yeah. and support it. It just needs to be a yeah. good movie. Bo and so. his um, buds, like their whole crew down there in Texas selling, they decided to go. Mm -hmm. And he texts me, and me and Rhett were just going into the movie, and he's like, 
this is my new favorite movie. We loved it. <laughs> and then he said afterwards that like the guys were high fiving each other right. and just oh. loving it. Yeah, oh, good. it so. is a feel good movie. It really yeah. is of all ages. Mm -hmm. It was good. Yeah. Well, and love. oh, so another fun fact I think about the movie is that you have to watch it in a movie theater. Like that, Tom Cruise actually said that mm. they weren't allowing it to stream. Is that mm. true? I, I well, that. I love that. I also heard. I think it was with this movie. We have so many. I heard <laughs> or I read. <laughs> I could be. People fact checked us. Um, <laughs> yes, please. That most movies pre-COVID were in a theater for like twelve weeks, mm -hmm. and they were like wanting to shorten this one. I don't know if it was this movie or they're saying that about Mission Impossible, and it's like, oh. no, it needs to be all twelve weeks. Who knows? And it could be longer, right? And let's not even talk about um, the Johnny Depp case. <laughs> Though we <Right>. have. <laughs> at work. Yes. <laughs> it was that a train wreck that you couldn't not watch? I just had to get on and get glimpses and just, pieces of it I just mm -hmm. so that I know. Just I mean, because you could dive down yeah. into it really deep, and yeah. I couldn't. But it was I a train think, wreck that you can't look away from. Right? That's why I can't get involved. It's, it's like a book, right? Because you can probably oh, yeah. start a book and then finish it's it. It's just fascinating. I'd be like, oh my god! It's like someone's oh, real life just right? out there, like messy and dirty, and you're like, and being what is real and what is not, and then you'd find yourself like, is that is really real? real? You know what and I mean? And you have two actors, mm -hmm. totally, so On they could act if they wanted or do to. Do we? <laughs> <laughs> True. So, do you guys feel like the outcome is what it should have been? Yes. Well, I, I shouldn't even say that. I, I've only like heard. Right. But do I, you feel like he was telling the truth? I guess this is my prediction. Okay. I don't know who the heck's telling the truth, okay. but my prediction is she her career is over, mm -hmm. and his will skyrocket now. I agree with I, that. Yep. Yep. It will and be interesting I, to watch mm -hmm, for sure. Mm -hmm. Totally. And maybe there's somewhere in the middle with some of that stuff. I never like to dismiss like domestic oh, abuse yes, or whatever. True. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I do think that there was. Um, Varsities with what was being mm -hmm. said on and both so, sides. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, so summer for yes. you. Do you have summer plans? We have summer plans going and starting, guys. So we'll do Miss Utah pageant, um, which is super fun, and then we go to Lake Powell, okay. and hopefully everything is okay down hopefully there. Hopefully there's water there. Good. Yeah, it's yes. tricky. And then we'll go to Disneyland and California. So you do Laguna. the same summer every year. Kind of. Yeah. With Rhett's family, sometimes we trade off every three years. But his parents decided to do back-to-back -back years this last year, and so... For Laguna Beach? Uh-huh, yep. So that's kind of what that has turned into. So are you, the biggest question is, are mm -hmm. you going to make it to the rodeo? Yes. Oh, and we drive back on Sunday, and I was like, I don't know if we'll make it to the rodeo. I couldn't help myself. I bought tickets for Monday. For Monday. Yep. Well, darn well should. For, yes. Because if not, if she was going to miss two years in a row, I was, was going to cry. Pete about <laughs> we need an <laughs> alcohol. I need to ask her. <laughs> yeah. No, I couldn't uh, miss it. Well, I've been thinking of you in so many regards, just because what? you had a birthday yep. and all of the cute rodeo attire is out, and then I've been uh, thinking about you and your camping trips. So we're heading out camping tomorrow. Well, perfect. Good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, well, we have some great things in store. Next on Studio Chatter, looking for a fun craft to start? Stay with us to learn more. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. People have been throwing pots for eons, but now it's become a fun hobby. Let's welcome Cassidy Lomu from the Wildflower Pottery Studio to the table. Welcome. Hi, Cassidy. Hello, Cassidy. How oh, fun. <laughs> this is going to be fun. So Cassidy, when did you guys buy Wildflower Studio? Um, January of 2020. Oh, Which is yeah. like eight years. <laughs> not the that best year, Not right? the best year. So you're in your third year? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was a crazy year. So that did you buy it in like January or was it halfway through COVID? No, so it was like January 9th. We, that, like, I'll just tell you guys a little bit about how yeah. that year started for us. Cause we, we bought the studio from the old owner, um, January and then found out we were pregnant. Cause like, we were, I don't know, I feel like we were going to go there anyways. Uh -huh. well, <laughs> but, yes, that, perfect. That yeah, good. So we were going to go there. Um, but found out we were pregnant, um, February. Found out we were having twins at the beginning of March. Oh, wow. And then found out we, we had have closed COVID. down 
like two weeks after that. So we took <sighs> off to Texas for like a month. Stop it. Wow. Yeah. So you already had one child or just yes. that was your and first? Yeah. Was she she was time? one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was a lot to take. Oh, yeah, what did we yeah. Do? Big year, yes. Yeah. I feel like we're starting to recover though. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> we're barely, yeah, I don't right? know. I don't okay. think I recovered until so. my babies were like four. Right, but I feel like. So maybe this is the year? Yes. I don't know. Yeah. Yes. I feel like towards the end of COVID though, people were trying to get out and do this kind of mm -hmm. stuff and ready to connect yeah. or whatever. I feel like people, they were, but they were also, I think everyone was super eager to like go camping and stuff and mm. to get outside because they felt like they were cooped up. So like anything that like felt mm. isolating, I feel like was a little bit hard, but mm -hmm. we did take home kits and people could do that wherever they wanted. And oh, I think okay. that helped. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. So we're yeah. kind of at the other end of the spectrum. Yes. So we're going into summer and I yes. have crazy kids at home that want yes. activities. Um, I am not the artsy mom at all. <laughs> I don't want the mess. No, well, not, okay, not the really, only one. No, and they will make fun of me because I really am not artsy. <laughs> However, I like artsy things. So what things can you offer this summer? So during the summer, we actually, we offer something called cool art, which is, Cool. It's creative because it's like cool, like the whole slogan's like, get out of the hot summer sun to, okay. for some creative fun. Perfect. It's really, it's cute. But um, each week we actually teach the kids a different style of art. So it's not even oh. pottery specific. So that's some okay. of this stuff Love here. That. Okay. Um, one of the weeks we're doing mosaics. Um, one of the weeks we're doing these little pinch pot things. Oh, okay. um, so the kids will make these. And then we're doing glass fusing, sun catchers, oh, oh, which will neat. be so Maybe fun. Maybe I could come to kid class. We're doing, oh. adult, we're doing adult ones too. So we have adult um, fused glass um, classes as well, because I posted that on Instagram and everyone was like, can like we actually come too? So oh. I was like, no, but I'll make you your own class. Oh, I um, think we okay. need to do so, that. This has texture, yeah. which I want to feel. Mm -hmm. Oh it's my It's so heavens. fun. We just barely, um, we really wanted, um, for the cool art oh. classes, we really wanted to offer um, our projects that kids don't typically do at home okay. just because painting is like it, that's I think when ki people think of art their go-to is like drawing painting yes. so yes. that's what everyone mm -hmm. buys their kids is like some watercolors yes. Yes. but there's so much more and I like my mom always told me growing up that I was a creative person which mm -hmm. was I was like that's good, nice but I like didn't feel like I was that creative until I found pottery but I didn't have oh. access to that till high school and so I really want to like with our studio we really want to expose kids to different kinds of art so it doesn't take them 18 years to find okay. their thing so what's too young um, so, well, I based off of my kids, and so my three-year-old, she has done all of these projects with me. She did this one with me, and oh, like wow. all of these my other ones gosh, with me, really? and she did this one. So we, for cooler right now, it's three and up. But so awesome. my like my one-year-olds don't. And how handle. often during mm -hmm. the week are you offering it? So we have classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, okay. We have a morning and an afternoon class, and it's all throughout June and July. So do they oh, yeah. need to sign up for the summer, just per class? Um, yeah, so you do have to sign up for the summer, and that's just because a lot of these projects um, do take multiple classes. So we do have you sign up for all the classes, but if you go on vacation or something, uh, we just throw them into another class to make oh, it up okay. so that they do finish all their projects. Perfect. Yeah. I just love something about that because like you start, right, and then it has to go back yeah. and be Fired. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You're artsy. Okay. Well, not really. No. She's like, I um, don't know what I'm talking about. So how, how long would this type of a project? Terms. That type of project would take at least two weeks okay. minimum. Yeah. So that's why I most like of these that. projects, like even the fused glass, we throw this in the kiln, um, which is another cool process that you can do with the kiln. And even these take at least a few hours to dry. Okay. So. What about something like a paint night? Yeah, yes. So we also offer paint nights um, every month because painting is also just, it is one of those, like if you just want to do something creative, but you like want to take it home that night and you want to see the. I like came and did a paint night there with my sisters okay. and some of us are artsy, right? Or creative, but yeah. some of us may not be. And I honestly, like I'm very particular and I was like, there's no way I can do this. But the way that you guys explained it, we all walked out of there feeling like we were artists. Oh, but it was just fun good. to I'm have so just a to night to hang out and be yeah. together. It was we really fun. We usually throw in cookies or something too. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so Food it's like a whole helps. thing. Yeah. yeah. And then what about pottery classes? Yeah, so we have, that's a, so that's like what we do is pottery. Um, that's my thing. So okay. um, we always, sprinkle it in everything, cool art, whatever we're doing. Um, but we teach beginner classes, we teach date night classes on the weekends, um, and then also we have an open studio, so if you just wanna come and just use our wheels and our equipment, because it is really hard. Um, that's why I wanted to own a studio, is because it is really hard to find access to right. um, some of the bigger equipments uh, to do 
pottery. At least I struggled with so that. So we're not yeah. just going in and picking something off the shelf. You can and, do that. We have okay. that. Option but you're here. actually throwing you're, it you and creating throw. it. Yeah, you can come in oh. and like make something. Yeah. I was wondering when Pete said throw pots. I'm like, what in the world? <laughs> yeah, throw what are you yeah, you I, I've ground. never heard the terminology, but it means creating it. Like you throw the like clay in the movie, on like, the wheel like to ghost. center it. Yeah, 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 that's a couple nights. Exactly. Exactly. You can have a ghost from. moment. Right. I took so pottery <laughs> yeah. in high school, so I do know that term. Yeah, people always want to call it spinning, um, but we looked it up and know like the term actually came from the like just that one action at the beginning, just throwing it on the wheel. <laughs> so oh, it's called I, throwing. See, I'm thinking throwing against the wall. Yeah. You learned something wall. new tonight. Yeah. And then the wheel, and then my mama go, oh. uh -huh. yeah. so, so did you make yeah. all these? I actually did, and these are things um, that I've made like within my first year of pottery. Yeah, which I love this set. I, Like that's what we want to do with our studio is like to show people that like you can yeah, just can. like, oh, no. I don't know, like I don't know how to explain oh. that, but so that, like, you are capable, you know, yes. so, like just come and try it. Cause like, these are things like, I didn't even know that I like was pretty good at pottery, but then like, this was just experimenting within like my first year and wow. now I own a studio. So it, works it would now all of a sudden mean so much more if I actually made this, I'm thinking people are just coming in painting it. No, what, uh, but you can't, like I said, you can do that. We do have that option and you can just walk in and do that anytime you want. You can also like, if you wanted to just come and sit at a wheel and test it out with some YouTube videos, you're welcome to do that. Um, but we do teach classes, so we can I was like, gonna say, what about can you. we have you yeah. sit there with us? And we do like beginner classes, so if you want to learn, like you like actually want to like pick up this as like a hobby, like we do beginner classes, and those are a month long. Um, but we do uh, date nights on the weekends, Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. So if you just want to test it out and see if it's something you're oh, even interested oh, in, all ages, so fun. or if you want that like ghost picture, you can <laughs> drag your husband in. Yeah, no, everyone, everybody needs everyone that. Everyone asks us about that. I watched the movie like <laughs> the, after we opened a studio because I was like, I need to know what this is because that was like oh, the my word. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, but now people always come in and say that joke, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, like I'll set it up. And they, never follow through. they never follow through ever. It never happens. Oh, so, so get like great. a poster on the wall yes. in your studio of Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore yes. <laughs> doing their pottery. Or just Patrick Swayze and then or just, just like sit in front of him like the like oh, a cartoon totally. cutout. I was going to say that's a photo a op idea. night where people could just come in and set up. Yeah, and that's picture. a good idea. Yeah. Oh. I learned a lot by having you come in. Yeah, yeah this is really me. all awesome. So, great um, ideas. Tell everyone about your location, where you're located. Where, uh, that's good, well, by Cowboy Donuts? Yes. There Domino's Cowboy. Yes. I don't know. Yeah. I don't Tesoro, know. Tesoro, if you're a drink yes. person. Yes. Uh, top of Center Street. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I'm not a good address and person. Instagram? Um, Wildflower Pottery Studio. Okay. Is that the best way to follow you or website? What Honestly, yeah. We're most active on, like, well, I'm most active on Instagram. So, yes. Um, we do have a website and we do keep it updated. Okay. And everything we post on Instagram is automatically posted on Facebook. Okay. So, so, you so can, whatever. yeah, you'll get, well um, you'll see it all on Facebook. Well, but, good yeah. luck. Yeah. And you have three kids under the age of three. Yes, or till August. Now. Till August. Then I'll have three under four. But yeah. <gasps> Congratulations. No, oh, no. Three, three under four. No, this is not an announcement. This is not an announcement. My mom might watch this. This is not an announcement. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you thank guys you. so much. Coming up on Studio Chatter a few weeks ago, Spanish Fork selected a new queen. We'll meet her coming up next. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. John Lennon saying, all you need is love. Our next guest thinks there's more to it. Welcome Grace Ahinger, our new Miss Spanish Fork 2022 to the table. Bring Welcome Grace. Grace. Thanks for having me. Our Your dreams have Spanish come true. Yeah. <laughs> they have come true. On Studio You're Miss Chatter. Spanish Fork I've always and here. wanted to be here. I'm yeah, not going to lie. She's on Studio Chatter, not, not Miss Spanish, Spanish Fork. Fork. No, I've always <laughs> wanted one of these mugs. I know. Stay here with you guys. Like, I mean, this is the best what, part of the what whole thing. What have you wanted to talk deal. about with us? <laughs> Anything. What do you want to know about us? Oh no. no. All right. Just kidding. Just kidding. kidding. It's not about us. Oh, Stacy, you panic me. <laughs> well, Grace, I've always been a fan. Thank yes. you. Congratulations. So much. So, <laughs> have, have you known Grace for a while? Yes. A little? Yeah. Well, so she was in the royalty last year. So Actually, we. Actually, I was last year. That's right. Why did, yeah. I, why did I think you, that? Maybe, maybe I had you. Okay, tell us. You tell us a story. Yes. If you yes. go back to see Paisley Healy being crowned, 
you can see me in the back. I like, saw that at the pageant, and that's yep. when I realized, like, yep, she was, was in the pageant me. last year. That's, that's what I meant. And you're just yes. so. But this is one of those stories that you that. were not in the royalty. I wasn't. But now you're Miss Spanish Fork. I know. Like you competed, and then you just said, "I want it. Yeah. I want to do it again." Worked very yeah. hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think Paisley like totally deserved it. I was so so happy for her, and I was like, "That's it. I want to come back, and I want to do it again." And and I you did. did. <laughs> That this is so great. Story. So were you a senior last year and then a junior? So I was a junior. Okay. Um, but we decided that like if I did win, then I would just do like school over the summer and online to get the credit so I could have graduated over the summer. Oh my god. But heaven. then it worked oh. out so I was able to have my senior year. And oh, okay. that was really great. So. It was meant to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was yep. meant to be. So now you've hit the ground running. We're the first of June. What things have you done so far? It's only been a couple <gasps> weeks. Yes. So I have already done the Flanders field flag set up. That was really fun. Yes. And then I had the opportunity to go to Miss Teen Spanish Fork and the Junior Miss and all the little misses, and that was so fun. Oh. I got to help crown with that. And then I went to the memorial ceremony with mm -hmm. my royalty, and it was the weather was oh boy. really great, <laughs> oh but boy. it made it fun. Yeah, so memorable, huh? Yes, definitely. a memorable memorial day. Indeed, yes. And now I'm here. So now you're here. Yes. Next week you'll go watch them do some Miss Utah stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. And then next month is your big month. I know, parade season. Yeah. And yesterday yeah. is going to be crazy. The biggest part of being Miss Spanish Fork is Fiesta yeah. days are, are a big part of it. No, I, I think like happens it, It's the busiest for sure. Yes. Oh, it's yeah. just a constant. Yes. So what are, what are you, you most excited about? <laughs> <laughs> We're thinking the same thing. Great minds think alike. Yes. I have always been a massive fan on the rodeo. And I'm sure like everybody says that. But I just like I love it, and I'm excited to go be. every <laughs> single night. It's kind so. of a treat. Yeah, and you get to come like in the car behind the scenes, mm -hmm. like with all the cowboys get getting ready. And yeah. Yeah. okay, do they wear cowboy boots and that kind of get up, or are they in dresses? Do no, you know more country? Good. Not dresses. Like okay. they, they've been in skirts in the Could past. Be a mix. But yeah. you get to kind of choose your Jeans own little yes. get up. Okay. We, have like one night where we're all in the same dress, okay. but it's like pretty like country. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And then we have like boot cut jeans and denim skirts and things like that. So it should be pretty. And fun. you have a nice pair of boots that you're gonna wear. Mm -hmm. Fun pair. Okay, good. Oh, good. <laughs> good. That makes me excited. Yes. Well, the reason I fell in love with you is because of your social impact initiative. And that's lots of love and your foundation. And mm -hmm. I'm not sure that everybody knows that story. So tell everyone a little bit about your story and the foundation. Okay, so in 2016, my grandmother got diagnosed with leukemia. And while she was in the hospital, she would go on walks and she would peek into the rooms of uh, the other patients. And she would be so sad because she saw that they had nothing in their rooms when she went back into her room and it was filled with love and balloons and cards and so when she was being transferred to another hospital she asked that all of the things in her room be distributed to the patients who didn't have anything and i found that to be super super inspiring and um, the next year my mom got diagnosed with stage three breast cancer and so i was able to kind of get a different perspective on mm -hmm. cancer patients and their families and their lives and what they go through and so um, we decided to start a nonprofit charitable, charitable organization called Lots of Love, and it's focusing on helping cancer patients and their families and local hospitals and infusion centers and things like that. Oh, wow. Love it. This yeah. one's going to be busy then. It's busy. It is busy. <laughs> but you have a service heart. And I mean, you I have service. done some big things <laughs> with that. And What have you done? I want to hear more. So uh, we decided we wanted to get like a little box for our infusion center that we have in Provo. And we wanted to do something different once a month for cancer patients. So for example, like in January, we did fuzzy socks because it mm. gets really cold in infusion oh. centers and things like that. Um, for June, we're actually doing, uh, we paired with Chick-fil-A to give cancer patients a free lemonade. So we'll so fill our box with these little coupons that we made and they'll be able to take one when they go in for their treatments and then they'll be able to go to Chick-fil-A and get a free lemonade. And then we go and re we um, refill our boxes whenever they're empty. So. Oh my god! I love that. I think it's taking something that hits close to home mm -hmm. and then translating that into how we can serve and love others. Mm -hmm. And you've done that. 
Okay, but I, I was not there that night, so I want to hear a little bit about your talent. Oh my word, it everybody's was Stacey, talking about yes. it. <laughs> I wish you could perform right now. Um, I wish I could too, but dang. No, <laughs> we could make it happen. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my talent was um, an ASL interpretation of the song Fight Song by Rachel Platten, and I decided to do that because my SAI is called Love is an Action Word, and it's showing that love is just something you say, it's something you do. And I'm like, ASL, that's an action. Learning how to speak another language, that's an action. And so it fit really perfect, and I love ASL, and so that's what I decided to do. So, do you think that we can have her just do a little bit of the sign language? Like Ooh, um, yeah. a line or two of the song? Well, yeah, or just just like yeah. sign it, like, yeah. Okay. Just sign it. I, I can do it. Okay. okay, and you can even say it as you sign it. Oh, I can't sing, okay. so I probably oh. shouldn't. Or say it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It was <laughs> beautiful, though. Oh, very, very I know. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, no, keep going. Mm -hmm. Do two lines. Do. It's kind of funny because it's so quiet. It, it is. No, I'm like, just deciding. But, 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 but it is mes mesmerizing. It was. Yes. I, I've you. already told Grace this, but it was a talent that truly just like, mm -hmm. s like stopped my breath. It took my breath away. It was so powerful. Well, I, oh, and like, I, and I, yeah, it really was. And I hope that the community really, really gets to know you this year because of that service heart and that aspect. And I'll never forget also, like, when you posted um, when you had received your first job or a first paycheck, I mm -hmm. think, and a donation, and yeah. maybe you still do that, goes to some of the things that you give to these cancer patients. Yeah. Not many young people do that. So I think <laughs> well, that's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> so, Super excited. Geez, what else? What, what's on your immediate docket? Well, I want to, like, get to know our hospital a mm -hmm. little bit better and do things yes. with them. I mean, hello, we have yeah. a fantastic hospital. Like, how could I not? Yeah. Um, I've been able to talk to them a little bit and learned kind of what their needs are. Mm -hmm. Like, they're in need of stuffed animals for kids who come in. And so I really want to get on things like that. So I'm very excited. So could that look, oh, that's not your... Um monthly thing though that's mm -mm. totally different that's so. different so Stuff this is something as your whole royalty that's something that you guys can yeah, work on and totally. do okay yeah. mm -hmm. i forget you have like a little whole I posse know. that you guys get to hang out They're with so and create sweet. memories I love them so much congratulations yeah. thank you Best of super luck. proud of you thank you you'll have an amazing year yeah. yes. congratulations Yay. grace <laughs> next we'll talk about the bryson strong foundation stay with us for more studio chatter Welcome back to Studio Chatter. Turning a tragedy into something bigger and better has been the goal of the Bryson Strong Foundation. Let's welcome Marcy Orchard from the Bryson Strong Foundation to the table. Thank you. Hello. Welcome. Hi, Marcy. Welcome, it's Marcy. good to meet you. Thank you. So today just worked out perfectly. We had a little opening in our schedule and I got a sweet text from my cousin who is connected to Marcy and okay. said this is a perfect time. So Bryson, her son, actually played football mm -hmm. my same my son same year and okay. so we know part of her journey and Marcy why don't you share just a little bit of that Bryson sure. Strong journey. Sure. So my son Bryson McQuivy was diagnosed um, with an aggressive form of cancer his junior year um, and ended up passing away November 2020 into his senior year but he was a football player at Maple Mountain and um, there, it was just an incredible 10 months that that he fought both for him and for the the community and the people that we had the opportunity to interact with. So we set up a foundation in his name to, to do a few things, so. And he really was amazing, guys. Like that year, there was COVID going That's on. I was just mm -hmm. thinking there when you so said those many things. things. Awful. Yeah, it, it was, was a really tricky year. I remember but seeing he gave the hashtags us everywhere. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He really did. Yeah, he, he, he did. And it just so happened that, you know, he was a football player and he ended up having to, you know, miss out on his senior year of football, which was, of course, devastating to him, um, but it also gave us and him and the community kind of a platform where they could watch him during his fight um, and the community and the school could also serve him. And it was mm. just incredible to watch. Um, and so that's kind of exactly what happened. He went through spring and summer football and um, fall football and he was doing chemotherapy the whole time 
He was mm -hmm. clean wow. of cancer for about two months before he relapsed. And we all knew that um, upon relapse, it would be terminal. And so he spent um, the last few months right before football ended um, on crutches. And then, um, you know, ultimately he was, he was sitting in a camp chair at the football games oh and goodness. passed away just a few weeks after the, the football season ended. But, but that 10 months was pretty incredible, so. It was oh so special, goodness. just if I could share a little experience. We played Maple Mountain during that time. Sorry, I get choked up. And as much as they're our rival, there was players wearing his jersey number and we were like fighting for Bryson, whoever was wearing that jersey, like mm. we wanted him to yes. win the battle. And that, it and was I, just amazing I, yeah. to bring the community together. So that and way. I can't forget that too, because what the school did and this and, and the team, and this was pretty incredible, is that because Bryson couldn't be out there, what they would do is each game they would vote on um, a player to wear his number 15 jersey. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. So yes. it, it was, was really wow. neat. Yeah, so he would be on the sidelines and there would be somebody out there playing receiver or quarterback or maybe even a lineman. Wow. And they would call his name, you yeah. know? And he was on the sidelines and he would t turn and look at me and smile <laughs> and everybody would cheer. <laughs> and it was just incredible. So that was their way of helping him be a part of his senior year when he couldn't. Oh so. my goodness. And what a sacrifice that was for the kids you know, to give up their moments, you know, and but their But not really, their not a sacrifice, like what a but, memory for them. Mm -hmm. It yeah. was incredible, it was incredible. And as far as I know, um, you know, as, as long as Coach Burton Shaw's there, they're gonna continue with that tradition of every game, somebody's gonna get to wear the number 15 jersey who's shown those oh, wow. traits that Bryson showed during his 10 month um, fight with cancer. Oh my so. goodness. He was such a mature, strong, like he really was. brave soul. He really was. He was. As hard as it was to watch, um, it was also just incredible. You know, mm. just, it was amazing. So. Well, you seem incredible. All oh, right. And you're, you're so carrying nice. on some amazing things. So tell us what's what's coming up. Okay, so before Bryson passed, um, he and I kind of talked about how we wanted to pay it forward to the community. And so we created this foundation, you know, and, and he, this was, you know, his idea and, we weren't quite sure what we wanted to do with it. We just knew, know, knew that we wanted to um, pay it back to the community. So um, we created this foundation and then a few months later, I mean, he didn't know if he was gonna be able to see it to fruition or not, but um, you know, and after he passed, we kind of all got together and said, okay, we've got to you know, come together and, and do this for our, not only for our boy in honor of him, but for the community as well. And so we've put a foundation together where um, with the, the money that is donated to us, we do scholarships um, mm. each year. We do a scholarship for um, a senior football player that we give to them at the very last game um, of mm. every senior, um, every season. And the coaches will actually vote um, as to which player gets that scholarship. Um, and, and it's based on uh, the Bryson's strong values, which are kindness and perseverance and strength, um, courage and, and a good attitude, which are wow. all the things that Bryson kind of, he, he learned it and he showed it during that, that 10 months that he fought. So um, the coaches vote on that and there's a scholarship there. And then again, at the end of the year, we invite the kids, um, the outgoing seniors to um, apply for a scholarship. They don't have to be student athletes, just anybody can apply. And with wh whatever money we have available um, with the foundation, we um, will award some scholarships so to, to those students who have gone through the same type of thing. They've had circumstances that they cannot change. Um, you know, they have to be courageous. They have to learn how to be kind and persevere and all of that. And they tell us their story and we're able to read that and then, you know, award scholarships to them for, for their courage and for, for their journey as well, so. So were they awarded at the end of this past yes. school year? Okay. Yes. So now to create more funds, you guys have an upcoming camp, is we that do. correct? We do, so one thing that we knew Bryson would just absolutely love was a football camp. Yes. So what we, teenage boy does not, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we did one last year. It was incredible. It was super fun. We blew up the big eagle that the the little kids could run through, and Aww. it was super hot. But we had water <laughs> guns, and we did you know the youth <clears throat> in the morning, and then we did the older kids in the afternoon, and we teach you know obviously football skills. 
But along with the football skills, we also, at every station, we teach kindness. And then at the next station, we teach about strength. And then at the next mm -hmm. station, we teach about courage. And again, you know, kindness and perseverance. And so it. not only are they learning football skills, but they're learning, guess what? Along with football comes all of these other mm -hmm. things that you have to learn to be a great football player and a great person. So it's a little bit more than just the football camp. The kids had a great time. We're super excited about it this year. We've rented the pace and pool for all of the campers and their families awesome. for that evening, because last year it was so hot, we thought, oh my gosh, <laughs> everyone needs right to now. jump, yeah, jump so, in the pool. So that's part of our camp this year. Um, and so we're really excited about Tell us, it. When is the camp? So it is June 22nd. Registration um, to be guaranteed a t-shirt goes through the 8th, which I think is next Wednesday. Okay. Okay. Depending um, on, this goes for two weeks, so it might even be passed. Correct. But to get That's a free t-shirt register yes. by the 8th. You can sign up all the way through the day of camp, even at the oh, day okay. of camp. Oh, okay. And we'll just take your t-shirt sizes. You may not get a t-shirt at camp, but we will get you oh, okay. a t-shirt. And um, so, so yeah, sign ups all the way through the 22nd, to, but to get a t-shirt at least by the 8th. Okay, sign and up. How? So how do we sign go up? to brysonstrong.org um, and there's a link okay. on there for the, the, the football camp registration and payment and everything. Okay. And everyone should just visit the site anyway. Yeah. Just really inspirational, yeah. motivational okay. things on there. Yeah, yep, brysonstrong.org. So, Marcy, so. what ages of kids are you um, It targeting? says third through fifth, but really it's kind of second through fifth for the morning session okay and then six through eighth okay so, and we have um you know senior boys helping out there and we have alumni helping out there um, we also have um, an organization w that we just started this year it's called the bryson strong ambassadors who are seniors mm -hmm. at maple mountain we want to obviously reach out to to salem hills and payson and spanish fork okay in the next few years but they will also be there um, helping with the camp and helping okay. with cancer awareness throughout the year. It's going to be a really great program. We're pretty excited about it. And yeah. will it be at Maple Mountain High School? It'll be at Maple Mountain okay. this year and then hopefully, you know, Salem okay. and Spanish Fork and, and everywhere in the next coming years. We really want to bring awareness about childhood cancer. And when people see that gold ribbon, we want them to automatically think, you know, that stands for childhood cancer, just like when they see a pink ribbon mm. and they think breast cancer awareness. Mm -hmm. We want to do that with a gold ribbon. I did not know that yep. there was yeah, a gold ribbon. And the month of September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and we're going to make oh. a big deal out of Which out is of perfect timing for, for yeah. everything. Yes. You know? And we want to be able to take care of the cancer warriors in our community. Mm. You know, let's, let's get them recognition. Let's get them support. Let's get them love. You know, right. that was ex everything that was given to Bryson, you know, and it was just... It was, you know, almost a spiritual experience to have so many people, have, you know, give that to him. And not every cancer child has that same experience. This is what I've been finding okay. out. Not every child can, or cancer child has the school around them, or the community around them, or, or even their friends. Sometimes their friends fall away just because they they just don't know how to handle it. Yeah, right. they just don't know how to handle. It. We yeah. don't want that to happen. So, um, you know, that's just one more goal that we have with the foundation is to. Okay. Give them support. Well, so I'm assuming you. you do this camp as a fundraiser. It is a fundraiser. Towards the foundation. It is a fundraiser. Okay, awesome. I may yes. know a little camper. Oh, good. Nice to see you there. Really Thank you it. for joining <laughs> Thank us. You, oh, Marcy. Thanks for having Thanks me. For I really sharing. appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Coming up next on Studio Chatter, coming to a new country and starting over is never easy. Stay with us for more details. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. One day you're working on your dreams and the next day your home is at war. Our next guests are living in this reality. Welcome to Anna and Ilya. And he's going to say the last name for us <laughs> to the table. Will you say your last name for us? It's Prishepchuk. Oh, it's just beautiful. It is. It is. It's just I beautiful. just want to do this whole interview in your native language. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you would probably love it too. Yeah, probably. Yeah, a little bit wow. more. Yeah. So tell us a little bit of your back history, what brought you to Utah and this connection here in our community. So back six years ago, I served my mission here in, uh, in Utah Provo Mission yeah. and actually started my mission in Spanish Fork and I finished my mission in Spanish Fork. So well, I love this and play. you're from Ukraine. Yes, I'm from oh Ukraine and I was called to serve here and I love this place. I love Spanish Fork. I love two jacks. And I love <laughs> oh my God, that's what I just I had totally, for dinner. I know, we're doing there as well. <laughs> I love it. So, 
so. And while he was serving his mission, his sister was serving mission too. And while she was waiting for a visa, she served a week in my hometown. Okay. And she taught me, and that's how I met became, her. Oh, yeah, she she became a matchmaker. That just like, took my breath away, and I want to cry. Yeah. That's like beautiful. I know. And then when he returned from his mission, oh we met at the youth conference, and I was like. It's last name, like, it's hard even for Ukrainians, you know? Right. And you can't forget this last name. And I was like, do you have uh -huh. a sister? And he's like, yeah, and she's Dasha. And I'm like, I know her. She actually, like, the reason why I'm here, the reason why I got baptized. And we were like, okay, it's so <laughs> This so is fun. meant to be. <laughs> meant to be. <laughs> I hate that. Oh, that's so beautiful. Like, wow. That is, right? Wow. Oh, how be beautiful story. Okay, so then you finish your mission, and then what brought you back here to Spanish Fork? And so, in the beginning of this year, we went to the Czech Republic to go to some business school, which lasts like three months. Okay. And it was the, just in the beginning of January. And uh, then on uh, 24th of January, I got a call from my mom uh, crying and telling me that they've been bombing, like, in their city. They can hear it. They're, they're in the shelter. They're trying to go to the basement to run there and to hide from the bombs because we didn't know what's going on and just whole Ukraine that day was bombing. Everything was just on bomb and on fire. And later on we figure out that we found out that it was just they would just bomb the military bases and some airports. So they and some airports an airport was really close by us. That's mm -hmm. why they could hear so mm -hmm. like the walls would shake. Mm -hmm. So they would like run from wow. that and from that day our life kind of cha changed and that's that was the reason for us to come here and we were able to uh, come here through a humanitarian parole program mm. it's I don't have visa and we don't have visa but we have that kind of program and we were able to come and my sister actually that the same sister Dasha she lives in Rexburg Idaho so she was able to help us and to uh, help us with getting here and we we arrived in Salt Lake and she took us to Rexburg Idaho where we stayed for the first month and then we we I just love Utah so we were like yeah. we have to <laughs> it makes my heart I know so I love happy. that and we have to we have to move here so we found a way to move into our my companions uh, parents <laughs> basement so we live yeah. with them they're a great family and they have so we us. got married yes we got married yeah. before yes okay, yes. okay. okay. we, we got missed that part of the story so, so, yeah, was, you, so yes. you go to school together now there's this beautiful art yes. that comes tell into us play about that. tell us about that okay so i was painting for all my childhood but i was kind of not really into it but then when i met Ilya, he was like you really have to do it and i'm like well, okay, and he started buying me everything I need, like paint, canvases, he started, and I said, no one will buy it, like, oh, for sure. And he sold one, and I was like, oh, okay, oh. <laughs> maybe people will like it. So he was my inspiration, and oh. it just, yeah, and now I love it, and I actually feel that it helps me to be closer to God, and this is the one way how I can be how I can express my gratitude mm. for all the blessings that happened in my life that brought me, brought me to the church and to this marriage and yeah, to, to hear I know. I know. Beautiful story. <laughs> Holy God. Yes. Okay, and the, okay, now the, wow. and, that, and, this beautiful, and this beautiful art. So can we wow. show some of this? Yes. Yes. And, and tell us about yes, this. Yes, tell us so about this. So this is so like put it right up here. City Temple. For a minute. Unfortunately, oh. I couldn't see it in real life. We saw it, but it's like a oh, construction. Right. So, but it is so I really stunning. love it. And yeah, it's acrylic with them. So you're selling all of this color. now. Um, and are there four pieces exclusively or, that you've chosen, like that design that that people can purchase? No, or are they all over? They're, they're all over. Okay. Oh. It's just some, some that we framed and... You are so talented! And I love that you've just captured like the top part of it, which is just like the inspiration, uh -huh. right? And you, it makes your eye just wander down to like, what, I want to go inside. 
right? Yeah, that is awesome. I so yeah, there are some show. animals, some uh, temples, some pictures of uh, Jesus Christ. Okay. So, um, and yeah, we're going to be on this Provo Farmers Market and try oh. and s raise some money for Ukraine. Uh, this is re actually the reason why we came here because we 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 kind of had chance to go to Ukraine and we were like, we already were going to go to Ukraine, but we figure out that we will be more useful here. Uh, mm -hmm. We oh, will okay. just yeah raise some money and help more from here than just we would be in in need in Ukraine now. Oh, but here beautiful. we that can. Makes sense. But here we can help in some. Different so they can meet you in person at the farmer's market in yes. Provo. Yes. We can also purchase um, these originals on... Yes, originals there, and prints also. Okay, okay. Way cheaper. Is there a website? Yes, there's okay. a website. Is, the name is Ukraine, number four, USA.com. Okay. Where you can buy a painting. Okay. Uh, or actually, back home, my family has a furniture business. And I somehow we have few pieces of our furniture here in Utah, okay. which we'll be selling as well. And you can buy those at the farmer market or on the website. Wow! So they're going to send furniture from Ukraine so here. So there, there is some furniture already here. Oh, gotcha! And we can sell them. And there okay. is some more programs we will do. So okay. there is some ways to help Ukraine and raise money for Ukraine for our parents, for our families that are still. Still there. How are they? Are they safe? Yes. Yeah. For, for today? Yeah. Okay. When people ask us that, we say they're safe for today because you never know. They just can. You it's just never still know. an ongoing yes. struggle and battle right still. now. And are you both hanging in there knowing that your families are there? Yeah. It's yeah, we call them like almost every day. Okay. Okay. It's like, yeah. Well, I love your t-shirts. Oh, yeah. I love that you're just Thank proud you. and supportive. And yes. What a beautiful couple, but a beautiful story. Wow. Like, just meant to be. Definitely, that mm -hmm. was beautiful. Yeah. And you are very talented. What yes, very talented. What a good husband to just <laughs> help you fulfill that, that beautiful gift you've been given. And really quick, I think the Provo Farmer's Market, is it around, like, Center Street, like mm -hmm. that park? It's Pioneer Park. It. Pioneer Park. Pioneer okay. Park. And do you know how soon that starts? It's going to be this Saturday. Well, oh. the fourth of June, the first day. Okay. And uh, every Saturday until the October or something. Oh, we'll very good. Okay. Every Saturday, so come and. <laughs> so we see know us. what you'll be doing every weekend. Yes. <laughs> okay. <we'll be> there. <laughs> Thank you for joining yeah. us. Thank and you so much. Our so much. Last minute. Our pleasure with you and your family. Oh, thank you. Yep. Thank you. There's more studio chatter coming up. Welcome back. Before we talk about what we learned today, somebody had a birthday. Our Stacy. Oh boy. <laughs> Yay. It's a fun time of year. It's like rolling into summer. It is a fun it's time of year. It's just a fun yeah, time it for is a, a birthday. Fun time of year. But it was Went a lot to, more low key this year. Was it? Which yeah. is nice. Well, I got a happy lot of birthday, reading. Stacy. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Oh my gosh, that is so. Cute. Oh, is there a cookie in there? Yes. Is that what that is? There's Do you want me to open it? It's up to it's you. It's up to you. I don't, okay, I'm just going to leave it right here. Okay. But I it can't does really, look I'm nicely like, wrapped, right? I know, I'm like, it's yes, so it pretty. Does. Bowls and a cookie, and I can't see well, what else. So the bowls and the dish towel is kind of because you're adventuring, so this is your adventure basket. Okay. So you're going into camping season. Yes, we so are. You, so you need some little things to so put in your trailer. So I can just put this right in the trailer. Well, but then, but then there a, may be something a, that a, could be fun to yeah, go there's do a, before. <laughs> there's a little glamour in there as well. Okay. Yes, a little shopping. So <laughs> thank some you. We love you. That stuff. was so nice. We love you. And thank you're you. 49 this year, right? Oh, again. <laughs> yay. Again. That's it. Yeah. yeah no, it's and housing. Oh, and my favorite color. That's sunshine. Yep. It's Hello. good. Yep. Hello. I'm ready for the sunshine, guys. Even mm -hmm. though I do like a little stormy weather. I and it like was it. stormy on my birthday, and I kind of did like Did you like, like it? it? And like, ooh, it's nice weather. Oh. Like, I, wish it, I wish that it would hold for a minute. Oh, 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 and, oh and trees. Oh. They're shaped like donuts. They're donut cookies. They're birthdays. donut flavored. 
birthday cookies. Oh, do you want to have goodness. one? Why, yes. <laughs> you want her to have Do one? you, Angie? <laughs> Maybe I would. One. I would. She we, want us to sing? I could uh, sign. No, no, you can sign. No, I can't. Grace I'm like, you I should learn it because I can't. I, I, that's the only, I, literally, I think that's the only two things that I learned in Girl Scouts was the alphabet and sign language yeah. and mm. how to make tomato cake. That's great. I feel like sign language is <laughs> really, guys, like a language. Oh, like you. it's hard to learn. Like oh, I remember totally, learning yes. the alphabet and I don't remember it. Do you mm. want me well, to I remember sure going to yeah. Hope of America okay. and there was the, I don't even know, what do you call the person that signs for the, oh thank you, yep. for the audience. The interpreter? Like is that what sign it is? language the interpreter? ASL interpreter? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. I was so mesmerized the whole time because I'm like, They're wow, how could, yeah, to watch that the whole You're time. It's art. It, it is. is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had such a fun show. An like, amazing show. Like near tears twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, super talented artists. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, but their, their love story. story. Mm -hmm. Like, whoo, we were all like tearing. Can I have a mouthful? Their love story was beautiful. And what an interconnection about like, coming to Utah, right. learning the gospel. Mm -hmm. She was back learning the gospel. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. and, oh. and their hearts are still in the Ukraine and they will go back. Isn't that and amazing? They're just waiting. Mm hmm. But it reminded me of like Mary Craft, like I wanted to go there and help. And then they're like, but what are you going to do? And like they said, we would then be of need. Like we would need food. We would need clothing. Mm. We would need shelter. Mm. And so I thought that was beautiful. Yeah. How can we help here? But she truly is talented. Oh, oh amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that yeah. was cool. I wish them the very best. I thought that was neat. And Wildflower Studios, that's so fun. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to try that. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for I sure. Really Maybe my grandkiddos. Go. Do you want to learn to say like, maybe we should throw? have like yes. a cake? Yes. I want to. We <laughs> really could do that one learn night. That. that may be fun. That or a be, paint that night. That could be fun. Yeah. I haven't done something like that for a long time. We yeah. totally could. And I did not know the Bryson Strong story. Forever Bryson Strong. Is that yeah. what? Yeah. Yeah. I did I not like know that's... about all that. I had heard like little bits. Yep. So to hear the story. Mm -hmm. It threw me like seeing her and talking about that just threw me back to that time because that's when I was football booster president mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just all those neat memories and mm -hmm. all those like really amazing things that happened during that year, even though it was tricky mm -hmm. and a really hard year. There was a lot of really amazing miracles during that mm -hmm. time too. Mm -hmm. For so. sure. Well, in introducing Grace to the community, she's going to have an amazing year, so yeah. that will be awesome. She's she absolutely is. darling, guys. She really is, isn't She'll, she? Yeah, she will be a great representative, mm -hmm. I feel like. Hard worker, She for exudes sure. love. Yeah, yes. uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like you, She just, like, engages. Yeah, she does. In a confident. real way, but in an intelligent way, yeah. I just felt immediately connected yeah. to her. Good, yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Yep. She's fun. This is great. Heartfelt stories and happy birthdays. Well, thank you. Right? Great, great show. Donut. How's yes. your donut cookie? Oh, I haven't. I've been talking too much. <laughs> These Imagine. are really tasty. They are really tasty. Mm -hmm. I have never had a donut cookie. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Pete. Or thank you, guys. Where's the, thank you. Mm. Where's a donut hole, Pete? Ooh. Did you uh, guys um. keep those? Mm. <laughs> and he's laughing. And now um, let summer begin. Yes. Yep, let's kick go. it off. See you then, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks for being here with us. We hope you enjoyed the program. If you learned something new today, please tell a friend about us.